So we are back on rigging number 29 and we parented the control to the IK control and the reason was just to move it right in the right place. Now, now we're going to unparent it because we actually want the IK to be parented to the other, the other way around. So one way to unparent is to go to the outliner and you notice that the uh, the control is parented to the IK. So we want to unparent. The way to do that is to middle click, middle click on the control, drag it out of there to this empty space down here. Let go. That actually unparents the control. Okay, that's unparenting. And now we are now back to number 31. Now we're going to freeze our transformation, meaning this way when we animate, all we have to do is type in zero and our, uh, our guy comes back to, to its Christ pose. So, where we, so you notice that the circle uh, has some translation numbers. We want to freeze those numbers, zero them out, okay? So with the circle selected, uh, and that makes it easy to animate when it's zero. So we're going to go to Modify, Freeze, Transformation, and that will zero out its, uh, its location. So now all my numbers are zero right there. Um, okay. Okay, so now we're going to delete. There's a lot of history that gets uh, saved. We're going to delete all this history, especially for that circle. So we're going to go to um, Edit, Delete by Type History. Now that kind of clears out all the extra history, all those undos uh, for that. Okay, now we're going to... Now we're going to do the opposite. We're going to parent the IK to our control. So we can do this on the uh, on the outliner. And the first thing we need to select is the IK. And then we need to, the second thing is the control. So first thing, select the IK for the left wrist. Uh, and again, in the uh, outliner, you're going to hit Command, not Shift. Hold down the Command and click on the control. Now we're going to parent this. In order to parent, we just press the letter P on your keyboard, and now it's parented. Now, uh, now, all I now all I can do is select the control and look, whatever. Uh, if I move the control, it moves the arm. And if I want my my pose to go back to zero, all I need to do is go to my translate, select X, Y, and Z. Uh, let me see. Go to the translate and for some reason it... Huh, interesting. It won't let me select. So select, make sure we select all of them and press zero and hit enter and your pose goes back to its original pose. Let's see. Yep. Okay. Um, now we need to add an elbow control. We need to add an elbow control to the arm. So we're going to do now on this, we're going to we're going to draw this circle on the ground. So in the perspective view, I'm going to draw a small circle on the ground right here. There. That's going to be our elbow control. Now, we try parenting. There's another way also to uh, move a control to a joint. Another way of doing it is using the snap tool. Um, the snap tool it's got these, let me zoom in, it's got these magnets, you got these horseshoe magnets, 
and you can snap to a grid, to a line, but we want to do it to a point, to a center. So we're going to select this one, which is the snap to point. Okay, so now when I drag, you notice how the the interface, the center has changed from a square to a circle. That's because now it's in snap mode. And I'm going to drag this circle to the elbow and it's snapping to the to the elbow. I'm going to hit the F key to frame to see if it actually got it right on the center and it does it does not look like it's on the center. Right? Uh, so I'm going to drag this again. There. That looks like it's right in the center. See that? Right in the center of my elbow. Okay. Now, we are on page number 36. Oh, we need to move our elbow control out a little bit behind. Um, 